Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to explore a bit more into water, the water element, particularly as applied to Taiji Tran and, and internal martial arts, and, um, and extend from that into Anjin or the push in, in, in Taiji postures. So um, the we're not quite there yet, but we're moving in the direction of winter. And that's when the, that's the season of water. So it's a good idea to start getting kind of in, in the mood. Um, we're phasing out of the metal element and moving into the, into the water element. And so that's governed by the kidneys and the urinary bladder. Um, so the, um, and the, the, the important part about, about winter is that it's a season of slowing everything down. So we've gone from the super young of summer, which is fire, into earth, which kind of evens things out. And then it starts to move in a, a yin direction with metal in, in the fall. So that's a season of letting go and, and starting to throw away anything that's unnecessary. And then as we move more and more into the yin, we hit the, the deepest pool of yin, which happens around the, uh, the shortest day of the year, which you know, every, uh, around the, the winter solstice. And, and, and so that begins a period of, of, of deep yin. And that's, where we're contracting and bringing everything in. And um, it's a time of regeneration. It's a time of slowing it down and allowing the body mind to engage in the stillness. So last week we talked about the Wu Wei and the Wei Wu Wei. And this is more the Wu Wei as aspect here, the not do is where we're kind of slowing things down and, and collecting. And as a result of that, you start to gather that water energy, which then nurtures your kidney and urinary bladder, and your kidney gin, which is, uh, which is um, your, your kidney essence, which is uh, your jing. And it, um, this is the source of vitality. And uh, it feeds the rest of the, the, the cycle. So by establishing that really strong yin presence, then it uh, gives you a fertile ground in which to grow and expand outward again in the coming year. So I, I wrote down a few notes about uh, the, um, some of the aspects of, of the water element from a, a psychological aspect, you know, and it, um, when it's unbalanced, we have a sense of uh, isolation. There's uh, absent-mindedness, um, indecisive. If you're having trouble making decisions, that's that's an indicator that your kidney gin, kidney jing is weak, and you want to uh, uh, you want to kind of give some attention to that. If uh, you're fearful, that's another aspect of that uh, being it out of uh, out of balance. On a physical level, there's uh, rigid joints no vitality, weak knees, lower back problems, and uh, premature aging. So these are things that, qualities that, that your, if your kidney uh, is, is weak, your kidney power, your essence is weak, then you're gonna tend to start to feel older than you are. And um, so, and by take honoring the season, you start to turn that around. The um, so that's that's kind of on a physical and a psychological level, which um, we've covered before, and I don't want to do too much into that right now. I'd like to talk more about the um, um, water as a as an energy, particularly in terms of application in Taiji and in um, the internal martial arts. So the qualities of, of water energy, water chi, is 
It's wave-like. It's continuous and whippy. It is a spiraling kind of energy. So there's a has that that quality to it. There's a it is flowing. It um, it it's long. In other words, uh, metal energy is short. It's a short gin. Bam. Whereas water energy extends. It's long, and uh, it's also springy. So there's a, a quality there of of uh, springiness. There's you know um, uh, responsiveness, um, and it's also formless. So these are all qualities of of the of the water energy. So just by contrast, let's say to to metal. Metal we have a very short gin. It's abrupt. It's moving from yang to yin. So it's it's it, there's a, a sense of of compression, of condensation. And so when we reach that yin state, it's like, it's more flowy and, and, and smooth. But at the same time, it has a capacity to, to get uh, uh, into uh, a whip-like uh, energy. So, uh, the cultivating that as an individual quality in your body minds in your form into into your actions just so you're aware of it whenever it's happening is is kind of a an important thing to develop as you get deeper into this stuff so we're we're in the deep end of the pool anyway with uh, we're just by talking about this in this way but i think it's important to uh, to at least know about it and allow whatever part of that you want to seep into your practice and into your awareness. So you're, you're aware of water energy. And if you are fortunate enough ever again to play some push hands or something like that, to be able to utilize that in your, in your practice and also to recognize that in another. And so that there's a, you know, your ability to recognize someone who has like a lot of water energy is uh, is very helpful in terms of of countering that and to learn to be able to take that in because it if, if um, I remember one time I was playing uh, with uh, Lindsay Williams who was a very um, accomplished uh, uh, super heavyweight uh, player and and he did this push with me once and it's like it, it had that that quality to it that was like, oh, wow, that's really remarkable, really surprised me. And I had no, no idea what to do with that, that particular um, energy whenever, whenever it first uh, hit me. This was about you know, maybe 30 years ago, but it was, it was, a, it was a, a teaching moment for me. So uh, uh, learning to be able to practice that not just in terms of your ability to execute it martially, but also to be able to carry that in your body as an awareness and just be able to feed off of that is a kind of a cool thing. So we're gonna begin with a, um, uh, a water meditation and building also off of the, what we talked about last week, the idea of Wei Wei, Wei Wu Wei and Wei Wu Wei. So <laughs> the, um, uh, with we have Wu Wei being not do, and it's that stillness that precedes the doing, and to be able to appreciate that stillness as its own thing, and to be able to go into that gives you the power to uh, access your Jin, to access that that internal power, that effortless power that if you don't go to there, you're still kind of be, anything you're doing in Taiji is kind of be skimming along the surface. You're not really getting down into that, that deep place. So uh, let's, so we're gonna be doing that. So there's, there's that alternating between the Wu Wei, the stillness and the Wei Wu Wei, which is doing based in non-doing and then the, the fun ensues. Okay, so let's, uh, uh, let's stand up, please.
All right, so. First thing you want to do is you want to empty out. So we're beginning that process of Wu Wei. We're giving ourselves permission, ourselves permission to enter into the stillness. Just by clearing the our agenda and allowing ourselves to just be here and just do this and only this. Allow the mind to enter into this process fully and completely. And feel the ball of your right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. You're loading up the right leg, turn to the right, step out, about a hip width, and pivot. So first we're going to go through the three pillars checklist. Feel the balls of your feet, feel them contacting the floor. Extending your awareness through the balls of your feet and sensing the floor. Feel your awareness spread throughout your whole foot, but focusing primarily on the ball. Knees are unlocked. Reach with the crown of your head. So you're extending your knee one. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. Simultaneously, feel that reaching upward and that extending downward. Feel those poles in opposition. And as we do this, we open to the big chi. The earth chi, the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens. Allow that to circulate through. Grounding the yang chi through your feet, reaching with the yin chi up into the sky. And feel your body mind connecting up in this, this circuit. Relax your lower back and Allow your pelvic, um, uh, your, your what do you call it that? Girdle. Pelvic girdle, pelvic not girdle. So your pelvic bowl, pelvic bowl to to level out. So that be, means relaxing your lower back and allowing your lumbar spine to flatten out a little bit and reach down with the coccyx, the way Lou. Continue to reach. So you're, you're not only holding the poles in opposition between your feet and your head, the crown of your head, but also between your, the crown and the, uh, and the coccyx, the knee one and the way Lu. So we're having those going on all at the same time. And don't worry if you can't remember all this. You're, you're, at the superconscious level, you're starting to absorb all this anyway. Reach with your elbows, arms are rounded. You're emptying out your shoulders, opening the shoulder joint. Even though you're opening that shoulder joint, there's, you're still feeling the connection through the shoulders. There's no shoulder tension but there is the tensegrity of the shoulders and it's contributing to the posture. It's contributing to the energy. Uh, 
Bow down to the left, turn to the right, just to release the qua. So you're, you're allowing the qua to become more sung. As we do that, we're unkinking the hose at the qua. Reaching with the elbows, unkink the hose at the shoulders. Reaching with the knee wand, unkinks the hose at the base of the skull, the jade pillow gate. Reach with your clavicular notch, opening the chest, opening the shoulders. And just as we're doing this, give you, allow yourself the luxury of just feeling into these positions, feeling into these energetic connections for its own sake. Sink, bend your knees, sink, reach down, and gather. Feel the weight of your arms. Feel the weight of the space in your palms for your hands as you come up. Round your arms, reach with your elbows, open the shoulder joints, reach with your wrists, reach with the fingers. Feel the connection between your shoulder blades. Feel that opening. Feel the energy expanding outward. At the same time, it's also containing the space within the arms. <laughs> Rotate the palms. Down with the elbows, the wrists. Hands come down. Reach down with the fingers, open the joints. Feel that whole body energetic connection. This is opening five energy gates, the balls of the feet, the loud gun points in the hands, crown of the head, sink, reach down. And gather, carry, feel the weight of that empty space. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, reach with the fingers, reach with the crown. Feel the tensegrity of the whole structure. like drawing back the bowstring. <clears throat> Rotate, palms down, reach down with your elbows, your hands. Down. Yeah. Reach, open, Feel into the stillness. Feel the motion in stillness. All the activities happening inside your body. Bow forward, reach down. Gather.
reach for the elbows, the wrists, fingers. Rotate the forearms. Bend your knees. Bend from the from the hip joints and reach forward. Extend outward. Feel reaching with the back. You feel your spine elongating, and then down elbows, wrists, fingers, all the way down. Bend your knees, touch the toes, and bring your fingers along your toes, your ankles, up your shins, your knees, thighs, hips, abdomen, chest. And reach out elbows, wrists, fingers, and reach, extend the spine. Open and bow. Feet, ankles, shins, knees, thighs, hips, abdomen, chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, Opening, reach, bow, elbows, wrists, fingers, feet, shins, knees, thighs, hips, abdomen, chest. Come down. Feel the water. Feel the circulation, your blood is, it, is one expression of water in your body. Feel the enhanced circulation that you're experiencing right now. At a subtler level, subtler level, level there's uh, other fluids are moving along, circulating. Feel that motion and stillness. Feel the ball of your right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, sink into the right leg and step into the left foot. Take a deep breath. To the elbows, the wrists. Fingers. Exhale and disappear the chi. Feel the water cleansing. Great. Take a seat, please.
How'd that go? Good, 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 good. Sharon. I, I just want to comment that I really appreciate the phrase that you use, the stillness in the motion, mm. the motion in the stillness, excuse me, because I'm, there I am being still, but there's just so much activity going on. It's the perfect words. Beautiful, beautiful, great. Uh, anybody else? You know, Rick, I, you know, I know so little about all this stuff and I, you know, I recognize I'm just like new to this, but oh my gosh, that was just really, really good and so needed since I've been basically laying on my back for the last two weeks. So just a stretching alone, you know, was just amazing, bro. <laughs> thank you <laughs> cool okay so uh let's take it uh let's take it to uh anjan so uh, the it's anjan is one of the eight gates eight energies eight movements the um that characterize taiji tran and it's usually translated as push. But I know for me, yeah, whenever I was told to push, it says, oh boy, you know, bam, you know, and, and that was my uh, that was my my thinking on it. And and uh, you know, push meant shove. And I think it means that to a lot of people. And it um, uh, which was a whole lot of fun, uh, but it uh, kind of misses some of the uh, some of the more interesting dynamics of the actual gin itself. So there's um, we express on gin in the Taiji move movements as as the push movement, where there's a, a sense of the hands going out and. The question always, you know, for me was, how do you get any kind of power whenever you do that without going into muscular contraction? And that uh, I, I think is is the key there because it is uh, such a complex and subtle energy that, that is involved with with Anjin that um, uh, it requires some slowing down and, and taking it apart. And also you have to let go of the instantaneous command that your body gets whenever it says push, because just by phrasing it as push, you're, you're telling the body to muscularly contract. And it, um, uh, it, because we've been doing it forever and, uh, and that's, that's how we're programmed you know, to, uh, to, to respond to that, that idea. So the um, understanding Anjin in, and just for it, uh, it's spelled uh, A-N is the way it's, it's uh, spelled um, in the, the on energy is a watery energy. So I want to read something to you from, um, uh, this is from the Song of the Eight Postures, okay? And it's uh, one of those things in the Taiji classics and, and the Song of On. What is, me is the meaning of On energy? When applied, it is like flowing water. The substantial is concealed in the insubstantial. When the flow is swift, it is difficult to resist. Coming to a high place, it swells and fills the place up. Meeting a hollow, it dives downward. The waves rise and fall, finding a hole that will surely surge in. So that's the, the idea is of like this big wave that comes in and is quite irresistible when you feel it. And um, 
very much like standing in, in, in the ocean where there's a, a big, you know, undertow or something like that. And you kind of, you, you get knocked down and then swept out. And that's very much like what we're talking about here. So the, the, my understanding of it, and um, I know there's lots of interpretations of this, but my understanding of it is that it is a complex gin. That is, it contains a couple of different directions there that to, uh, uh, to make it work. And the first one is very much like a wave. There's a sense of pressing down and, and, and like a heaviness that, that's coming down and, and presses down into the earth. That's the first part of it. So just like a, a wave comes in and pushes you down. And then the second part is the part where it then sweeps you out. So it's very much like, ah, yeah, whoosh, that, that kind of thing. And that's um, in, uh, in the Yang Feng Cheng Fu's 13 original postures, the way the the movement is done there, I, I really like because it's very easy to see that energy in the movement itself. So we're going to play with that and uh, really break it down into the little pieces, the moments of stillness that go with the moments of motion and feel into the structure and how that complements the energy. So um, once you stand up and we'll, uh, we'll play with that a little bit. Okay, so take a moment and feel your three pillars, feel your central equilibrium, the balls of your feet reach to the crown, knees are unlocked. Open the jade pillow gate. Release the qua. Sung, sinking. Reach with the elbows, opening the shoulder joints. Reach with the fingers. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. Turn to the right. Pick up the left foot and step out. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and turn to the left. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the left, pick up your right foot and step forward with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot, Push your right knee forward and set that. And reach out. Feel into this. This is the, the finish line for the, the on movement, the push in the in the in the in that particular form. You want to associate or familiarize yourself with that feeling. So you want to feel the weight about 70% in your right foot. Your left leg is almost straight. You're really feeling strong in that right leg. Like you're sinking down into that, you're releasing down into the quad. Notice that my hips and shoulders are squared up. I'm not turned, I'm facing directly at you. The elbows are not collapsed, but they're not out, they're just, they're reaching. So that opens up the shoulder joint. They're a little bit away from the body, but not, not so much that I can feel the shoulder tension. So feel the ball of the left foot. 
set the left knee, this is your back leg, and begin to release your left quad. This, unlike other postures, where I encourage you to spiral down, this one's a little different. You're gonna sit down into your back leg. You're gonna sit down and by releasing here, it's almost like you're sitting down on a bar stool as you're, you're doing that. You're, you're sitting down, but very, very slowly and easily. And as you do that, you reach with your elbows. So this, so you're opening the shoulders as you open the quads. So both these are, get it. And notice your elbows have gone from, from down here to you're rotating your form. So the palms are down and your elbows are up and your arms are lengthened. So you're moving away. You're moving away from your hands as you do that, reaching with the elbows so that you're feeling between your shoulder blades. Let's get the feeling of that. And as you're sitting down, you're reaching down with your elbows, but without forgetting your connection to your fingers through your wrists. So like your forearms, your wrists, your fingers, they are all kind of coming down very heavy as you sink into your left leg, your left quad. Real important, notice what I'm doing here. I'm gonna give you a side view. What I'm not doing is this. I'm not rocking back like this, okay? Notice what's happening here is I'm sinking in and notice that I'm reaching down here, sitting down, but my back is well forward of my, my back heel. So as I'm coming in here like this, I'm releasing down and kind of um, uh, straightening out the, the back. So there's that, I'm sinking into that as I sit down into my qual. So there's sit down. So as I'm pulling in here and reaching down with the elbows, there's a sense of heaviness in the arms. So this is the, the wave coming in. Left ball, set the left knee, sink. As, you, as you're dropping in here, there's a, a flattening out of the lower spine as your pelvic bowl stays um, level as you go back. If you just rock back, there's a tendency for the pelvic bowl to tilt forward, but we want to keep it nice and even. We don't spill any of the, uh, the chi out of the bowl there. So as we come in here, so at this point, just feel into that. So there is a continuity from my fingertips through my feet extending through the whole body. There's a, there's a, a tensegrity that unifies the whole system. On a physical level, it's at that connective tissue system level. And on the energetic level, there's a continuity in the, in the chi. There is a sense of uh, a unified energy. And the energy, the direction of the energy is in and down. So there's a mm, in and down. So now feel the ball of your right foot. Push your right knee forward. So you're setting that that post there with the with the with the right leg. Reach to the elbows and release into the right quad now. So you're releasing down, you're sitting down, and again, you're, you're adjusting your pelvic bowl so that you're, it's nice and level by flattening out the spine as you do this. You're, you're creating your, a springy quality in the, in the spine. Reach with the elbows, open the shoulders. So you're starting to load up that 
that right leg as you do this. You feel the ball of the right foot. You set the right knee and release, load up that front leg and then reach forward. First you set the elbows and then you reach forward with the wrists. Feel your wrists and then feel your fingers. And then we're back to our starting position. But doing that again, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, sink into the left quad, reach with the elbows, and reach back with the wrists as the hands come back and down, round the back, so that you're, you're feeling that springiness, that one of those qualities of the water is that springy quality. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, sink into the right quad, reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, the fingers and extend. Okay, so let's do that a few times. Do it again just a little faster. Do it a little faster? Yeah, just so they can see the... Okay, the so way. doing it this way a little faster. So we're going from here is... Yeah, that's good. Again, the ball knee cross, sink, elbows, wrists, fingers, sink. Right ball knee, quad, elbows, wrists, fingers, push. And so you get that, that wave form. So let's do that as a wave. There we are. So start nice and slow, sink. Feel the water. Heaviness coming down, sink, and expressing outward, up and out, and down and in, and up and out. And step back. And let's do it with the left foot forward. Do it uh, this way first. So we're right here. Just take a moment, familiarize yourself with that. Feel yourself really loaded up in that left leg now. Feel the right ball, set the right knee. Sink into the right quad, reach with the elbows, wrists, sink, round the back, hands come down, left ball, knee, quad, elbows, wrists, fingers, right ball, knee, quad, elbows, wrists, fingers, back, sink, left ball, knee, quad. Continue. Left foot forward. Sink. Feel the water. The heaviness of the water as you come down and the explosiveness as you come out and down. Mm -hmm. 
step in and let's just do it in a more compact form now. We're going to ah, sync. So feel the, release the quads, sink, reach the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, and reach. Once you get the energy of this, feel the energy as its own thing, then it becomes uh, something that you can take out of the Tai Chi form and bring into application. And if you just want to do with one hand, And the other hand, heaviness coming down, sink elbow, wrist, fingers, and coming out, and coming down. And we get the two hands together so that they're. that in. Now just stand there for a moment and feel the water energy independent of the movement. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, step in, deep breath. And disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. This is where the alchemy happens. She is transformed into Shen, spirit. Okay, take a seat, please. Stan, you, are you waving? Okay. Uh, there you are. Oh, you're coming in and out, Stan. You're on mute now. <laughs> He's getting there, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang I'm in there, Stan. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. There you go. Okay. Oh, am I coming through? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're loud and clear. There you are, Stan. Okay, Rick. The question is: When your legs are uh, the same, you know, the uh, the second portion of this uh, that we've done, are the legs still working the way they were when the legs were uh, one forward, one back? Um, <laughs> it can be. It it, 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 what I'm trying to do there is. is Pare down the substantiality oh. to 
minimize the actual body mechanics huh. and okay. gradually shifting from big body mechanics down to smaller body mechanics down to no body mechanics. Ah. So we're going from substantial, primarily substantial to primarily insubstantial. Okay. Okay. Yes, cool. thank you. Keith. Uh, yeah, I'm mute now. No. <laughs> okay, now I'm here. So I got to know that was a really heavy movement. Cut the force that I felt behind it, like was a combination of Harry Potter and Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And, I mean, I just I don't know what it feels like inside. Totally stated. Guy. You know, openly stated <laughs> because it was just like I was pushing freaking power, and I could feel it. Thank you, Keith. That was that was lovely, <laughs> Lynn. I too was pushing freaking power. Um, <laughs> and I just, I mean, I just can't, you know, stop feeling the wave inside. It's amazing, you know, um, but I am cold. My hands really? cold, and when we when we did the meditation, I got cold as well. Um, even though I could feel everything moving, and I, you know, it was I just felt cold. Any uh, any thoughts on that? I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of warm and toasty myself, but <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I, 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 are you feeling are you feeling the energetic connection? You feeling the yeah, yeah. moving? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I guess that is yeah. your body's response to water in this moment. I guess so. It's cooling. <laughs> uh, cooling. <laughs> cooling water. Yes. So uh, I, I, have no, I have no answer for that. I just know that I personally am like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glowing. Uh, <laughs> Valerie. Well, um, speaking to Lynn, I normally do the same thing. I feel I'm very full. I can feel the energy, but my hands are very cold, but you know, I'm very full. Um, it, but tonight it's like, oh, whoop -a -tee. you know, <laughs> it, it took a little bit of a, a turn. Um, just tonight I, I was more hot than the usual cold. So you're I'm, channel hot, I'm channeling Valerie. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to pick up the slack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, you had something? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, besides the fact that that was amazing, um, I think the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me just happened to me. Um, time just stuttered. It, like it stuttered for a tenth of a or a hundredth of a second and then picked up again. It was the weirdest thing I've ever had happen to me. Oh, that's so cool. It was, that, it, it, that's very cool. Uh, I, I get that, that sometimes. Was, that that's, was that's, a that's really very, cool, very cool session. That that's was it. a really cool session. Good. It's what, what, yeah. Another way of expressing that is like it's that moment where the pendulum turns around. <laughs> it's that moment of stillness where the pendulum turns around. And in that moment, there's, there's zero velocity. And, and so it's like, whoa, you know, it's startling when it happens, but it, I think it means you're doing it right. So keep, keep whatever you're doing there, keep going. <laughs> now that you mention it, when I, when I bring it back, yeah, it did seem like it was eternity, eternity in a, you know, in a hundredth of a second at the same time. Good, good. I, yeah. I find right. it start, startling when that happens to me. It's like, whoa, you know, it's like my, my nervous system says, wait a minute, <laughs> we lost touch, you know, Houston, Houston, come in. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, my brain tried to tell me, convince me that it didn't happen, but I wasn't, I wasn't buying that. No, I, it, it, I think it did. I I've think seen it did. <laughs> <laughs> did you have your hand up there, Rick? Okay, cool. Um, good, good. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all. That was a lot of fun.
I uh, really appreciate uh, your yes, playing please. along. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys happy have Thanksgiving a great to you. Happy Holiday. Yeah. Uh,